Hi, uh, my name is Sam Barr, and I have uh, stiff person syndrome. Uh, we're trying a new treatment uh, procedure. This is kind of a test, a two-week test, and of uh, plasma phoresis. I, I will have six doses of this, and today was my first day. And uh, I don't have a whole lot to tell you about it because I, I don't remember very much of it um, but uh, you can see this is the the temporary catheter uh, that they they placed in my chest and and uh, and, and neck and um, so basically I got to the um, outpatient center of the hospital at 6 a.m. and they prepped me by giving me an IV and uh, taking about three vials of blood and which I'm not sure what they were testing for and, um, and then about 15 minutes later they moved me into the um, into the outpatient surgical center area where they transferred me onto the surgery table and then they um, added some medication to my to to my IV the um, you have to check my notes here and forgive me if I pronounce I'm not very good at pronouncing uh, uh, medicine names but uh, here we go uh, the, the first they gave me uh, 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 of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, fentanyl, F-E-N-T-A-N-Y-L, which is a, a pain reliever. Uh, they they described it as being similar to morphine. I believe it's actually quite a bit stronger than morphine. And they also gave me Versed, which is a uh, it's used as a anesthesia for uh, for surgery, but what they said with, was that they were trying to get me into a twilight kind of condition where I was conscious but not feeling any pain uh, from this uh, from this procedure. The um, the, the problem was is that um, I kept talking too much and they I think were realizing that that uh, I was not getting into this twilight zone or excuse me not twilight zone twilight state of, of mind um, <clears throat> where I was relaxed and um, I, I think the uh, the uh, 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 <coughs> uh is uh, supposed to cause drowsiness and release uh, relieve anxiety, um, but I didn't get there. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the 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 ver the verset is supposed to do that. Um, so what they uh, since that wasn't working and I was still talking and asking questions and, and very alert, they added uh, uh, f uh, fenugrin to the, to the mix, which is a, um, let me uh, actually look that up real quick because now I can't remember. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's a... Uh, it's a it's an allergy medication, and, and I assume that similar to how uh, when they give me IV Benadryl, when I have my IVIG, they gave me this to basically knock me out. Um, unfortunately, it it completely knocked me out, and I don't think they were expecting that. So I have absolutely no memory of of uh, this uh, port. Uh, a temporary catheter put in 
or of the plasmapheresis that was done afterwards. Um, let me try to do a, a little bit more of a close-up of the of the temporary catheter so you can see it better. That's just about as far as I can zoom in. Uh, you can you can see where it uh, uh, there there are two lines here for the plasma paresis. One uh, uh, your blood comes out of and goes into the the machine, uh, <clears throat> and then the uh, the other uh, the other port is uh, uh, to uh, re return the the clean blood back into your system and. Uh, and it looks like uh, you know, there's an incision here and, and also here. When when I when I first went in, they they did an ultrasound of my neck to to look at my arteries and make sure that uh, they were they were going in the right place and that this was the right side of my body to 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 do this. Now. A little bit better to, to end the video. So this is a this is a two week trial, and I will have six doses of the plasma phoresis like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and based on my clinical improvement, whether I have any or not, then my neurologist is recommending that I go on to a uh, chemo drug called uh, cetoxin. And uh, cetoxin is well, what most people think of when they think of, of chemotherapy. That's the kind that's it's going to kill all of, all of your T cells and B cells and kill off your immunity system and, and is uh, kind of the shotgun approach. Um, and it will uh, probably make you know my hair fall out and you know all of the things that you normally associate with with cancer treatment. Um, I had previously been on rituxan or rituximab, which is a uh, another form of chemo, but it's a very it's a milder form and it it is meant to just uh, go after your target your B cells. And I was on that for uh, about five months, and it it, it was not uh, uh, my I, I was not improving from from that. So uh, we stopped that, and this is uh, Plan C, and then uh, Plan B will be the cetoxin if I feel better from this plasma phoresis. If I don't feel better from this, then we'll continue with the IVIG. And uh, but increase that to every three weeks rather than four weeks, and I'll probably modify my medications as well. Um, oh, uh, funny story! Uh, when they uh, they were trying to revive me or wake me up um, in between the time that my cord was put in and my plasma phoresis and. Uh, I barely remember um, people trying to wake me up, but then I would immediately fall asleep again. But but afterwards, one of the one of the nurses said to me that the uh, uh, that she woke me up one time, and 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 I looked around and I said, well, maybe I didn't look around, but but I, I spoke to her. I said, well, where where am I? Are you a bear? And um, so I thought that was pretty funny. I, I apparently was out of it for a, a number of hours, and uh, it took a long time for them to uh, to wake me up. Um, but uh, and I've been I've been asleep all day long after this. Uh, I, after after I was awake at the the hospital, which. Uh, Probably was about three hours after my 
plasma phoresis. They called my wife and she came and picked me up and they discharged me. And um, I came home, immediately fell asleep and was a, uh, uh, now it's late at night and I'm starting to wake up and uh, I took some over-the-counter pain medication for the the port because it is a little painful afterwards but uh, that uh, over over-the-counter medication seems to be working just fine for that and I think that's the end of my video I'm going to try to do a video of the actual plasmapheresis next time assuming I'm awake and uh, show the machine and how it works and everything like that I don't know if they'll let me do it but uh, even if they don't I will uh, try to sneak in a video and show you how that process works um, I hope you have a beautiful day thanks